Hey everyone, welcome to the T4 Show. My name is Michael Matta. I want to give you a quick update on how I'm using the POG HD PVR and uh, how I can use it with my Mac Mini. My Mac Mini is hooked up through Mini DVI to HDMI uh, adapter and an HDMI for video goes into my TV. Now the audio through a Toslink adapter goes to my Sony soundbar. Works perfectly. Everything works fine with Plex as you've seen in our videos. Problem is, the Apog from the 360, from the 360 to the Apog up to the TV is component. So there's two different video inputs. So that's why I got no signal with the Mac Mini uh, Media Center and ITV 3.1. So what I end up doing, was use my laptop, use my MacBook Air, plug it in through the one USB port, and I know it's the world's most expensive netbook, plug it right in, run ITV3.1, no problems. I gotta tweak the video settings for resolution and stuff like that still, but works very well, and uh, I like it. I, I wanna see if a MacBook Pro with the uh, graphics card actually handles this better than a MacBook Air, but the MacBook Air was not that bad in handling the uh, the recording. Now for future reference, what I really want to do is because I had to do a thing where I took my MacBook uh, Air upstairs, had to connect it to the mini stack uh, because there's no firewire disk mode with the MacBook Air, drag and drop it over there, then drag and drop it from the mini stack onto my Mac Pro and you know, didn't take much time, but it's a little bit more of a workflow than I want. What would be cool would be to get one of those Western Digital Passport drives, the portable USB 2.0 drives, I could either plug it in with this with a USB hub or with the MacBook Pro or a MacBook, you have the extra USB uh, to plug that in and use the other USB, obviously, to connect for the ITV 3.1. And that's about it. It's very easy. Um, like I said, I'm having fun tweaking the settings. But if you're using a Mac Mini, especially as your media center, uh, it's not going to work. Your best bet is to use a laptop and I, I don't see any, any other way to do that unless you have an iMac that you throw right here, but that's going to look silly. So that's a little update on how I'm using the uh, Abog HD PVR. For everybody here at T4 Show, thank you and best of luck in all your future endeavors. Mm -hmm.